it is Hexen here, showing you guys how to reduce lag in Rocket League. I have found ways and I have found routes. So first we're going to start off with a few things you can do on your home screen, well, on your desktop. So first go into Steam, go into Rocket League and right click Rocket League and go to properties. Then you see this little thing, set launch options under general. Click that and put in these. I'll have these in the description. So this you might have to change. It depends on how many cores your computer has. Mine has seven. You can do that by searching up your processor and seeing how many core, uh, cores you have. So then this one sets the game's priority to high. And then this one just, I'm pretty sure, I don't know, I haven't tested this one yet, removes the preview with the PSY thing and the other games like the Unreal Engine. Alright, so that's pretty much all you can do in Steam. Uh, oh yeah, and uh, I will have this in the description below if I forget sins on me uh, but yeah guys now over to the game where I can show you some stuff that you can do in the game alrighty guys we are in Rocket League and I have confirmed that unfortunately the no vid thing does not work so I will not put it in the description sorry guys but everything else seems to be working. Alright, so first, you want to go to Options. Then go over to Video. And first thing, which is the most importante, is your resolution. So what you want to do is click on this. And I personally have a 1920 by 1080 monitor. I meant, yeah, monitor. But the game runs a lot smoother in 1600 by 900, which is what I have found for my liking so if you have any other resolution like if you want to do 1280 by 720 if your computer isn't good enough for 1600 by 900 you can do that and then this one as you can see doesn't have an aspect ratio because it fits all isn't that amazing so yeah if you want nothing as choppy as 720 but nothing as crisp as 1080 or 1600 by 900 you can get uh, 1366 by 768 alright so that's the first thing the most important and then one of the things that will just help the game run a lot smoother is window mode so you want, you want to set this to full screen full screen is very important because if you don't have it at full screen it's not allocating the entire computer towards the game it's just the game just turns into like something like Google just a side a side process you know so yeah full screen is the second one then you have texture detail and world detail so I'm gonna start off with world detail pay attention to the grass right now watch it get shorter as I hit quality All right, so you see how it got a lot a lot lower and the I think the people no they didn't alright so then if you hit performance it's a lot lower and everything just seems a lot like Minecrafty, <laughs> like you see the line over here is like choppy so yeah I prefer it on high quality since I can run it alright then world, world detail is I'm not really sure what world detail is oh no that's texture detail derp so texture detail you see uh, before I set it to low quality it's like really crisp and stuff so now if I go into video and set texture detail to performance it's not as crisp looking and the hat is like smudged and so is the flag alright so now let's go ahead and put, in put that back because I can run it alright so now the second most important thing is high quality shaders if you have a pretty bad computer disable this at all costs even if you want the game to look like nice nah bro that ain't gonna pass you're gonna be like stu stuttering for days if you have a bad computer. So make sure to set this to off. 
The game still looks nice, must say. But of course not as nice. And semi-gloss paint is just murdered. <laughs> so, yeah. So, personally, I can run it, so I'm gonna have it on. Then there's ambient oculation. As you can see, the shadow under my car appears. Tap, 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 tap. Uh, personally, I don't notice it, so I don't need it. And plus, it just eats up a lot of my computer. So I prefer to have it off, and you too, since you're watching this video. <laughs> So, yeah, the game still looks hecka nice with that off, as you can see. And pretty sure you guys can agree. Alright, so that's just another thing you might want to have disabled. So, another thing that's also important, which is the third import most important thing, is depth of field. Now, it's not really taking effect here because this is like the viewing area. But, you see how there's blur in the background? That would be gone right now. In-game. So, yeah, you don't want to have that in-game. Plus... It just takes up a lot more stuff. I mean, a lot more RAM and graphics and whatever. So personally, again, I can run it, so I'm going to have it on. So in Bloom, it's not really a graphics thing. Well, it is a graphics thing, but it doesn't really make an impact. As you can see on my left fender right now, it's not shiny, shiny. Not shiny, shiny. So with Bloom, it's shiny, and that's like the only difference. Light shafts, again, don't make a big difference. They just eat a little of your kilobytes <laughs> of RAM. So just in case, have that disabled. Lens flares is like when you look at the sun with a the camera, there's like little hexagonal stuffs, shapes. Yeah, this is what this is, so just disable that. Dynamic shadows, it's pretty much like ambient oculation, it's just that they move. And the motion blur, if you have a pretty bad computer, have this disabled, but you know, motion blur, pretty self-explanatory. Then weather effects, I'm not really sure what the heck this does. I haven't noticed a difference, but yeah, just have that disabled. Okay, so, and probably almost the most important of the most important things, even though I said this is the most important, this. If you really, if you have a really bad computer, set this to high performance. Of course, the game isn't going to look the nicest, but it's going to run pretty well, at least <laughs> really well <laughs> so as you can see it's like really pixelated you can barely make out the, what the flag is the wheels look just mangled and the texture yeah, that's pretty much what it does but everything else looks pretty nice all right so now if you don't want to if you have a pretty good computer you can set it to performance if you have an even better computer quality then if you have an even better computer high quality Alright, so, and now, the render detail. This is, like, a preset for all of this stuff, except the resolution and the full screen. So what you do if you have a really bad computer, you hit performance, and it just unticks all of this, sets this to lowest, sets this to lowest. So that's all it does. And then, on high quality, it ticks all of this, sets all this to highest, and sets all of th and sets this to the highest. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have found this video helpful in any way, shape, or form, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will be making a Rocket League video shortly. I'm not sure how soon, but I will be. And I'll see you guys next time.